Do you need experts to show you how to throw knives? Well, you've come to the right video. Today in Mansplaining with Throwing Knives, we show a woman how to throw knives. So I feel like we should preface this just a little bit yes. with we are knife throwing experts. Experts. Absolute experts. Absolute experts. And that, I think, is a byproduct of the fact that we sell so many throwing knives here at Crime We Mart. sell them and we throw them. We could actually take shots of all the holes in the drywall around the office. There are none because we're so good. Except for that time that Ian opened a door really quickly. There's a sort of doorknob shaped hole in the drywall that he says that he'll patch up, but it's been a minute. I've been working on it. So we're knife throwing experts because we sell a ton of knives, but also because we've uh, read a book that we sell. That's right, yeah. Based <laughs> off of this book that we have on our website, The Complete Knife Throwing Guide by Gil Hibben. Yeah. It's actually a pretty concise little book and there's some good advice. It is, there. yeah. So the first half of the book has a lot to do with how to select a knife and how to build a target and we're actually pretty good at that here. We made a target with cardboard and printouts of everybody's faces. That was probably pretty creepy for Rachel, the woman who uh, we showed how to throw knives to. The first thing she sees when she walks into the office is a big bullseye with her face right in the middle. That one of the creepers here stole from social media without her knowledge or permission. And we chose these knives. These are the colored cord kunai variety set. They're new on the site. They're new on the site and there's a link below. There's there's that green one, there's this blue one, there's this purple one, there's this other green one. Oh. It's a green blade and black blade. Oh, green blade and black blade. But there's green this orange blade. one, and then there's a red one. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is either. We picked these because there's six of them. Knives are reusable. So it's not like shooting where like the bullets cost money. You can keep throwing and throwing and throwing. And if you get a little set with more than one knife in it. If you get 10 sets, like let's say you get 10 of these, that's 60 knives. You, know, you can throw for a while, go collect them, and then do it again. That's the nice thing about having a, a knife set or kunai set. Kunai are basically throwing knives. Ian, do you know the difference between kunai and throwing knives? I don't. Kunai are a type of throwing knife that comes from Japan. And they're symmetrical. They're symmetrical. They got double edge blade. Uh, they have a the little ring thing at the end. And is that for this? No. Whenever I'm actually traveling on public transit, I, when I bring my throwing knives with me, I, I always keep one in my hand, uh, kunai especially, to do this with so that people know. They know that you're a crazy person? Crazy people that mean business don't get hassled on the bus. Meanwhile, I keep my knives safely secured in my backpack and I have to sit next to the smelly person. According to Gil, the first thing you want to do, be young. Youth is uh, a helpful starting point for just about everything that involves physical activity. Or stretch. You can stretch. You can a little stretch. stretching. Yeah. Just a little, yeah. loosen up a little bit. Upper and lower body, because turns out you got to use every muscle in your body to throw a knife. One machine. Well oiled. Yes, Ian is definitely well oiled at night. It also helps to not drink alcohol. Tell us how to grip the knife. So you're grabbing, hold on. Jeez, I said, it. don't drink. When you're holding a throwing knife, you want to actually hold it like, put it flat in your palm so you can lock it and put your thumb on there so that when you throw, your thumb is ends up pointing where you want the knife to go. Oh. People always throw it like this, right? They, they throw it, hold it by the blade and throw it this way. That's dangerous. Or this way. They throw it this way so that, so that it tumbles kind of the flat way. That's the wrong way to do it. Who does that? Don't act surprised, I've been watching. Maybe early on in my knife throwing career. Uh, the other one is people throw it, uh, you know, throw it like this. Oh, wrong. No. Also wrong. But dangerous. And dangerous, yeah. I, I had one grip my, nick my hand the other day because the point like caught in a, it got me. It was one of these. Oh, so which one of these knives doesn't have your flesh on it? None of them have my flesh. Most of them are gonna have my pathogens. Should we have a contest? Who wants Ian's bacteria-infested throwing knife? We don't know which one, but you get all six. One of them. So now that you know how to hold the knife, how are you gonna stand? 
you want to be comfortable and you want to start with your right foot forward if you're going to be throwing from your right hand. You're going to kind of bend your knees to be comfortable then present the knife. The sort of wind up is you bring your right arm back and then kind of extend your left arm towards the target to visualize where you're going to throw and also for balance. And one thing, this is actually really weird, that yeah. if you think, okay, I want to hit right there. I want to throw it in Ian's mouth on the target. Visualize the knife going into the target. Then you sort of subconsciously orient your body in just the right way that you're more successful. You're more likely to be successful. And then you step your left foot forward and then you swing and step forward with your right at the same time so that your heel is off the ground at the same time that the knife is released. And you just want to let it go. Like you don't want to, don't use your wrist. Yeah, using the wrist to give it that extra oomph at the end just sends it in a random direction. Right. Just let it go. It upsets the, the consistency because it's a lot harder to control your wrist. Right, because your elbow only moves the one way. And so when your elbow moves, like you just got this one kind of axis of rotation and you let it go. And then you just want to follow through on the step. So you're going to throw it in at like kind of mid-step. Yeah, like oh you're, yeah. You're going to line up and then step and then you release it. You like present. Yeah, you like present and release. Oh, another thing that Gil says is don't use your full strength because if you go at it full strength, one, it's harder to control your muscles when you're trying to go for power. And then two, once you get a little bit tired, your body's moving differently. Then it upsets the consistency in two different ways. And then it goes exactly where your thumb is pointed. It was the weirdest thing. Because yeah. we had them kind of go all over the place. And when we started doing it the right way, they started landing a little bit better. Because we're experts. 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 So really the thing with this knife throwing is, I mean, like there's some technique to it, but it's really about finding the flow, right? Mm -hmm. You want to be consistent, do the same thing over and over again, feel where your body's at, visualize the space and just let it happen. Right. Right. Like throwing darts, I think is really similar. The thing about consistency is that it's sort of a science where with science, you eliminate the variables. So if you're consistent, and you miss, then you think, okay, why did I miss? Oh, I was too close, I was too far, right? And you can adjust that way or adjust the way you throw just a little bit. But by being consistent, then you change only one variable at a time. Right. And then also have fun. That's how you throw knives. That's awesome. how you throw knives. Yeah. Pick up the book and a set of knives and not take it up. Take it from the expert and reasonably good throwers. One. Oh, wow. And then Rachel, she can do that herself. It was kind of a first timer. We showed her a few things. Yeah, yeah, we showed her the folks. Oh, I got it. And Rachel was delight. She was a delight. She's a new friend of Cardamore. You're probably going to see her on some other products. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching Cardamore.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Click the buttons. Check us out. You know the thing. Throw knives. Throw knives.